NVIDIA's latest drivers are breaking GPUs across the board, and if you're still using them, you're gambling with crashes every single time you game. So today, I will tell you the most stable drivers for the desktop and laptop versions of NVIDIA's 30, 40, and 50 series cards. I'm not giving you the fastest FPS driver today, because, as you already know, the latest drivers are always the best, but it will nuke your GPU, just like the latest driver did with my poor 5070. By the way, here is the proof. I'm giving you the most stable ones, where both you and I won't suffer freezes, black screens, or crashes most of the time. Let me show you exactly which driver to install based on your GPU. Driver stability became critical in 2025, with RTX 30, 40, and 50 series all facing widespread crashes and performance drops from buggy updates. The community and even game developers are telling people to roll back because Nvidia broke something fundamental and every announcement sound like a threat. For RTX X30 and 40 series, driver 566.36 from December 2024 is your safest bet. This is the last stable driver before everything went wrong. It works reliably on both desktop and laptop GPUs, and some developers officially recommend rolling back to it. RTX 20 series users should stick with driver 561.09 for solid performance without the latest headaches. For RTX 50 series desktop GPUs, driver 576.80 from mid-20 2025 is currently the most stable option available. It resolved critical black screen issues and DLSS4 bugs from earlier problematic versions like 572, though a few minor bugs still linger. Installing this driver sometimes requires BIOS tweaks and always clean installations using DDU to maximize stability. Laptop RTX 50 users benefit from the 576 family too, but with caveats. Mobile RTX 50 GPUs saw power throttling fixes starting with driver 576.52. Though 576.80 is the latest stable version, laptop users may still face rare issues and need BIOS adjustments plus power setting changes for optimal results. Here's something important, but you probably did not know. Both Studio and Game Ready drivers share the same core code. Studio drivers prioritize stability with less frequent updates, perfect for creatives. Game Ready drivers target gamers who want the latest optimizations but accept a occasional bugs. You can switch between them easily through NVIDIA's app, just like I do. Now, about more obvious part. You still need broken drivers for latest games. I hope I don't need to explain why. Common stability issues you're probably dealing with when installing them include black screens, flickers, and multi-monitor glitches. Proven workarounds include changing BIOS PCIe speed settings from Auto to Gen 4 or Gen 3, using Display Driver Uninstaller in safe mode for clean installs, disabling G-Sync completely. Yes, you paid for G-Sync technology in your monitor just to disable it. If you are not lucky, setting power management to maximum performance, and underclocking your card in worst, very rare cases if problems persist. Laptop drivers align closely with desktop versions, but have unique quirks due to lower TDP and thermal constraints. Since mobile RTX 50 just launched this year, testing continues and you should expect some growing pains. Bottom line, Nvidia doesn't have a perfect universal driver for all GPUs in 2025. These are your safest options right now. Roll back to 566.36 for RTX 30 and 40. Use 561.09 for RTX 20. Install 576.80 for RTX 50 and apply BIOS tweaks with DDU clean installs for best results. Monitor official forums and Reddit for ongoing updates. And don't forget that we will test each new driver on this channel, so subscribe to see a new threats from Huang on my channel. Drop your GPU model and driver experiences in the comments. I'm reading everything and gathering best solutions so we can all beat NVIDIA's driver mess together.